Hey there, meandering Newfoundlander here, and guess what? I'm outside. Today I'm heading down to Barring Park, as you can see, and uh, I'm going to head over and hang out at the labyrinth for a little bit. I'm going to walk that. I don't get excited over things, so uh, I'm not excited over this, but I do feel like something's moving now, because I'm out of the house. And as you've uh, probably seen, if you've been following me for a while, my mental health issues have been spiking lately and uh, I've been struggling to get outside the house so here I am I'm outside the house So how many of you heard of labyrinths? I'm sure you pretty much all did. But if you're like me, when I first heard about them, I thought they were like a maze. Like you had to find your way through them like a, yeah, like a maze. But it turns out all it is is a circle. You just keep going around and around and around and uh, follow the path and make your way to the center. And then of course, find your way back out of it. So here's the labyrinth. All you do is you find a spot and start. Well, here I go. So this is supposed to be a mindfulness activity. I, uh, I haven't been doing it yet. Once I'm done creating this video, I'll, uh, I'll probably uh, go through it again and uh, do it properly. But what it's designed to do, it's supposed to slow you down. You're supposed to just one foot after the other, slowly walk along, just focus solely on those bricks in front of you. And uh, it's supposed to take you out of your head, supposed to make you become more grounded. That's the purpose of these. There's uh, no, nothing, uh, nothing too uh, fancy about it. And uh, I'm glad it's not a maze because I'd probably get lost. But uh, this thing is actually, this is my third time here. So I am going to go and actually uh, do this properly now. But I'll show you the center first before I go. Yeah, this is exciting, isn't it? Well, that was actually nice. It was relaxing. It took me about 20 minutes, roughly, to uh, complete the entire uh, labyrinth it's uh, I was reading it's almost uh, 400 meters in distance that you actually end up walking if you follow the, each path each stone properly so it's a nice little stroll in the park while I was walking it I did have one awkward moment there's a trail there's a few trails around obviously that they all converge on that place and uh, this guy came out of the trail and I'm going around the circle I got my clear path there that I'm going 
And for some reason, he decided he had to walk right towards me and pretty much an inch from my shoulder. He did say hi, I said hi back, but still, like, I don't understand it. Like, why couldn't you just give me a little bit more of a wider, uh, wider berth? <laughs> oh well, that's it. Anyway, I survived it. All right, that's it for this short video. It's nice, eh? It's not 45 minutes long. I suppose I could have made it longer if I walked around the entire park, but uh, no, I just wanted to show you that labyrinth and uh, it was uh, a little bit of a motivational thing for me or an inspirational thing, I guess, to get out of the house because I knew it was somewhere where it would be peaceful and quiet for the most part. Oh, I gotta show you this. Look at those leaves back there. Beautiful, eh? <laughs> there. This is worth coming out for. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little outing, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And uh, all the best. Enjoy the rest of your week.